beautiful, pretty mamas to be. Uh, we are today. We are going to just send you through a nice little sequence just for you and baby, just to maybe create a little bit more length and make yourself just feel amazing, which you are. So I have a bolster, a nice cushion, and a strap, and of course, a mason jar full of tea. So grab what you need. If you don't have those things, you can improvise. Instead of a bolster, you can use some piled up blankets or even just grab a cushion or some pillows. If you don't have a strap, you can take maybe your husband's ties and just sneak them away for a little bit. Just something that you can do. And you don't actually need it. It's just a nice addition to your practice. So find your way, maybe put some socks on, make yourself nice and comfy, put on some music if you'd like, and I will meet you at your mat. So we're gonna start just in a comfortable seated position. Closing the eyes, taking one hand to baby, one hand to our heart. And just connecting here with our breath. Not only breathing into our own bodies, but also bringing breath and love into our babies. And the breath is coming in and out of the nose. Here. Good. Releasing your hands. You're going to take your left hand down onto the mat beside you, or even taking the forearm down, but just making feeling it good for you and baby. Inhaling up with the right, stretching through the side body here. So as we're here, we're pressing both sit bones back into the earth, sliding our heart up to the sky. Inhale, rises back up and we'll switch directions. Right hand down or right forearm down, reaching up. Up and over. Each breath, we're feeling the sit bones coming back down to the earth, reconnecting here. Rolling the top shoulder back. Inhale, rise up, tucking the chin down to the chest. Taking the right ear to the right shoulder. Left fingertips come again right beside you and walking the fingertips away from you, stretching through the side of the neck. And experiment here. Does it feel better if my chin is pointing more down towards the earth or up to the sky or more center? Where does it feel like I'm getting a good deep stretch here? Feel those exhales, just being able to relax it. chin down to the chest and then sending the left ear to the left shoulder walking out the right fingertips. Noticing this maybe one side feel more tight than the other. This side for me feels a little bit more tight. I think I might have slept a bit weird. So breathe into it. Find that you can exhale a little bit longer. Inhale, walks the fingertips back in, drop the chin down to the chest, 
Doing a couple shoulder circles. Good, and then draw the ears up to the shoulders and exhale, relaxing down. Again, inhale, roll up. And exhale, relaxing down. One more time. Inhale, rises up. And exhale. Good. We're going to take the arms at almost like goal post arms. You're going to take your right arm underneath your left. Wrap the right hand back towards the face and then bring the hands together. So if this is too much, take opposite hand to opposite shoulder. Reach the elbows up and then exhale, drawing them down. Stretching here through our backs. And this one's a nice one. Once the baby has come, it just helps to massage our breasts a little bit and also to help draw in the milk. We're relaxing through the muscles of the breast here, through the lymph nodes. It just helps to bring the milk in a little bit easier too. more breaths here. Last one. And then exhale, release, and we'll switch sides. Arms back out at 90 degrees, taking the left arm underneath the right, back towards the face, and clasping the hands together, or opposite hand to opposite shoulder. Rise the fingertips up, and then exhale, draw the elbows down. Feel the shoulder blades now coming away from one another. One more breath here. And then exhale, release. Coming on to your hands and your knees. Hands right underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, middle fingers of your hands are pointing towards the top of your mat. Inhaling as we come into a cow position. So here, feel, don't just let our babies just hang out. I still want you to find those pelvic floor and kegels muscles. So draw the belly slightly in towards the spine as much as you can. And exhale, round through the back, hanging through the head, and making sure this is feeling good. I always tell my prenatal students that we're always moving from an 80% effort level. Inhale, rising up back into cow. So what I mean about that is that this is not 100% of you going into this stretch. This is not your full capacity. You need to back it off a little bit. I'm going to about an 80% effort level. And this just helps protect us from, with our hormone changes, we have making our body feel a little bit more flexible, which is just getting us ready for labor. So just being careful and mindful here. Let's take a couple more cycles of breath. One more cycle. Coming into tabletop. Sending the left foot back, right arm lifts up, thumb points up to the sky. So hug everything back into the midline so we're not hanging out in any of our hips. If you'd like lifting up through the left leg, Belly is being hugged into the spine. Protect the baby, protect your body. Exhale, release down and we'll switch sides. Right leg goes back, stay the foot onto the mat. Left hand goes ahead of you. Lift up through the right leg if it feels okay. So we're not sinking here into that right arm. Push out, find your strength. Exhale, release the hand down, release the knee down. Separate the knees a little bit wider than the hips. Come into a downward facing dog. So today we're gonna to even widen up the stance as wide as our mat if we'd like. Setting the sit bones back. Heels can be lifted. Press the baby back towards the thighs. Give your head a little shake, yes, yes, no, no. 
draw those shoulders away from the ears. And then start to swing, maybe your tail from side to side, pedaling out the feet. Deep, full breaths here. Right, come back into stillness. Walking the hands towards the feet, so you're going to be ending at the back of the mat. Bring your feet in a little bit, make it comfortable so you're not squeezing baby. Hang the head down. Now if you have a bolster or something that can create a little bit extra height, taking your hands away from the earth, you're more than welcome to do that. If you don't have any props today, take, take your hand to opposite elbow. Knees have a soft bend, hanging through the head. Bend through the knees, walk your hands up your legs, roll yourself up. So reaching the, the arms up nice and tall. We're going to reach up and over to the right. So the hands are clasped together. Now if this is too much, your option is to drop the right hand down the leg and just reach the left arm up and over the head. So whatever feels most comfortable for you at this stage in your pregnancy. Pushing through both feet. Inhale into center. Reach up and over to the left. Option to slide the left hand down the left leg. Inhale, comes back into center. Linking the fingertips behind the back. Slide the hands down. Reach your heart up to the sky. Push your hips slightly forward. Inhale, rising back up. Let's do that one more time. Roll the shoulder blades together, draw the heart up, push the hips slightly forward. Heart up. Inhale, coming into center. Release the arms, roll down vertebrae by vertebrae again. So I'm just moving so you guys can see a better view of me. So hands come down onto the mat, come back onto the hands and the knees. Shake the tail out. Big toes coming together, coming into a nice wide child's pose. Walk the arms ahead of you. Relax the head down. Now, again, depending on your level of your pregnancy, you can always stick the blanket or some pillows underneath you and relax down here for more of a restorative child's pose. And just allow the ribs to be pulled down to the earth. Inhale, walking back up, removing that bolster if it is there, and then walk the hands over to the left. Come back into center, and we'll walk the hands over to the right. into center. Take the palms together, walk the elbows out, and then send the thumbs behind the head. So we're pressing into the triceps here. So maybe you need to walk the elbows out a little bit more. And then draw weight into the triceps. Pull them down.
Exhale, releasing the hands. Walk yourself back up onto your knee. Setting your right foot in between the hands. You can stick something under your left knee if you need to. Hands onto your thigh or arms reach up to the sky. Come down, send your sit bones behind you, lift up to the right toe. Come back into center, walk your right foot right beside your left wrist. We're going to come into pigeon pose, so drop the right knee down and lengthen out. So I'll turn to you guys can see me better. So here, sticking the bolster or your cushions underneath your right hip. Give you a little bit more height. Deep, full breaths here. Finding yourself soothing your muscles. Good, rolling over to your right sit bone. Bring the legs in front of you. Arms reach up. So you can separate your feet so you and baby are both comfortable. And start to bow forward. Now, if this is causing any discomfort with baby, or it's finding it difficult to breathe, just taking your strap around the balls of your feet and then pulling on the strap to come forward. Inhale, rising ourselves up. Swing the legs behind us. Come back onto the hands and the knees and taking the left foot in between the hands, coming into our lunge. Exhale, releasing the hands down, coming into pigeon pose on the other side. So walking the left foot over to the right, drop the right, sorry, the left knee behind the left wrist. Sticking that block or bolster underneath the left sit bone this time. Inhale, rising up, roll over onto your left sit bone, swing the legs in front, bringing the balls of your feet together for Baddha Konasana. Hands onto the feet, and then just start to massage the feet out. Make it feel good. Free little massage here. And then when you're finished, dropping your head down to the earth. Ahead. 
Inhale, rise us back up. Soles of the feet onto the mat. Just give yourself a nice windshield wiper. to center. Lie down onto your back with a bolster on your knee or you're more than welcome to come onto your side with your bolsters and just sticking one leg on top and relaxing here, closing through the eyes. I welcome you to Take one hand onto your baby. Come back to our babies. Visualizing, talking to these babies. comfortable here. Allow the tongue to even drop from the top of the mouth to the bottom. start to take deep full breaths back into the body. Pushing yourself up using your hands to support you. Ending to where exactly where we had started, one hand on baby, one hand on our heart. Noticing any thing that you feel different about within your body, within your breath, within your mind. Things that feel the same. And remember that whatever is going on, know that you have this baby inside of you that is rooting for you, is your cheer team. You guys can do it together. You have the courage and you have the power to do it. This baby has chosen you baby has chosen you. Thank you for joining me for this little mini prenatal session. I hope to see you again soon. Namaste.